Hello, today's class will be understanding controllers in Entity Framework with MVC. So for now you understand what Entity Framework is all about and MVC. So today we are going to create a, an empty controller, write the code to return the list of people and add a new, add a view to the controller and test the application. In the previous tutorial, we actually generated the controller codes and also generated the view without writing any code. But now I'm going to show you actually writing the code is not uh, difficult, it's really easy. So we'll start by writing the code to return a list of people. And I also show you how the controller works. So I'm going to put away this, uh, save. So each time I try to start by creating a new application from the scratch. So I'm going to do it real fast because you already know how to do it. So there it is. So so all right, so this I'm sure you know how to do it. Uh, remember to subscribe, uh, look at the subscribe button down there, click on it so that you subscribe and get notified when I make new lessons. So it takes a few seconds and it creates our application. So just like you know, I'm going to add Entity Framework to our application. So go to Browse. So this I already have uh, explained it in the previous tutorial, so I'll just do it real fast. Alright, so I'm sure you know the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add entity data model to this project. So. The more you do this, the more it becomes clear to you. So I'm going to call it. So basically, I'm creating a new connection. All right, so select the server name and select the database, and that is all. The database I'm using is tutorial DB, so. And that is fine. So next, um, okay. Now I need to select. Okay, this is not good, but I'll actually update this uh, model after it's been added. That's something you can also learn. If you add a uh, model that is empty, you can update it. So I can always. Uh, so if I come here, you find out that there is there's nothing in there. So just come here and just say open. Go to model browser, and then go to. This is tables, so I'm going to right click on tables and just say update model from database. So at this point, I'll select the table, and then finish. Mm -hmm. All right, so our model is up to date. No, I don't need to do this. Yes. So wait for a couple of minutes and it updates our model. So take a look at the people.edmx. So at this point, this people that EDMX is our entity data model, and then we have this this passing class representing our model. Now I also would tell you that you have this tutorial DB entities more like contains list of all the models or list of all the classes or all your uh, tables that are mapped to to models to classes. All right, so now we are going to add an empty controller. So I'll pay attention to this. This is home controller. It simply uh, controls the home page. Uh, it doesn't display any data. So now we are going to add a controller, but this time we are going to add an empty controller. So it will be a, a, a deal that night. 
sorry. Uh, okay, so add a controller. So we are going to add an empty one because this class has to do with writing the code to display a list of uh, people. So person controller because this per person is the name of the class. So add it. So at this point, it displays a an empty controller. So you have yeah. Now I'm going to explain this code to you. We have person controller inherits controller, right? Uh, this is get meaning that we can make a get request and this is the URL so this the first part tells you the the method the HTTP method and this is the HTTP URL so what this function means if we make a get request to slash person it will run this code if we go to the to the URL and say slash person this code is going to run. So let's just try it. I'm going to build. So let's run it. Now the controller is empty. So nothing is in there. So all right, so so this is the home controller, just like you saw, that is generated. So if I make a get request to slash person, it tells us there is no view created. The reason is because we are returning a view when there is no view. Okay, so now what we are going to do is to add a view. So if we add a view, Now uh, we also need to select uh, a few things. Now we have the view name is index. The template we want to display a list. So select list, right? We want to display a list and select the model class. Remember we talked about model to be the classes that we generated that represent the tables. So select the person and select the data context. Here in the layout you use shared layout and use this layout so at this point we have a view that has been created for us but we still don't have uh, this is the view this is opens up the view we'll talk about it later so at this point we have return view and we have the view created but let's see what happens and see if it's going to work of course, it will return the view, but it will not display any data because we have not bound any data to the view. So if we make a request to slash person, it tries to run the code and returns the view. But inside the view is asking of a model and we did not give any model to the view. So what we are going to do is to go to the controller and we are going to uh, create a model and pass it across to the view. So how do you create a model? Remember, all the models are residing inside the tutorial DB entities. So this is the name of your model. So of of the of the cont of the container that holds all your models. So. So we are going to create a new model by saying So what this class does is I'm creating it once because along the line I'll use it throughout this controller So we have tutorial DB entities new tutorial db entities so we now can say db dot people right so inside the view i'm going to pass the 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 people that is gotten from this place into the view so db dot people right so db dot people is going to work but 
I'm going to convert it to a list by saying dot to list because we want to display in a list form. Okay, so at this point we've created a view and we passed a model to it. This is the model and we are passing uh, converting it to a list because the template we created uh, for the view is a list template. So at this point I'm going to save and I'm going to run this application. So hopefully it's going to display a list of items for us in the page. I would like to uh, recommend that you try to follow along uh, as much as possible. Try to do it yourself a number of times. So if I go to person, let's see what happens. So at this point, I hope it displays a list of the people. So it displays a list. So by the power of MVC, these buttons are added for us. So if we try to create new, it doesn't work because there is no view for creating new or editing or deleting or details. There is no controller and there is no view. But for now, we have just one view and that view is a view that returns a list of items and that view is says using a get request made to slash person URL. I hope this has been informative for you. I would like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when I make new videos.